빠져나오지 못할 것 같습니다 Welcome to UNB Light and Lens. This is Tanzina with you and I'm very delighted to have this special guest with us today. He is Mr. Jiang Sung, one of the most popular actors of South Korea. He is a director, producer and model also. He is the first Korean goodwill ambassador of UNHCR. He was appointed in June 2015 by UNHCR and this is the second time he is visiting Bangladesh to see UNHCR's frontline work and he has undertaken extensive awareness raising and fundraising work for Rohingyas uh, that he has met in Cox's Bazaar. The world is facing so many competing crises today and fundraising remains a big challenge. Today we will talk more about Rohingya crisis with this prominent actor. Welcome to our Light and Lens program. We are very grateful to you that you have given us uh, opportunity to talk about you and uh, uh, about the refugees. Thank you for giving me this opportunity for the interview and uh, this is my second visit following 2017 and I'm delighted for the opportunity to talk about myself as well as the situation of the Rohingya refugees. I would like to know uh, what is the uh, impression on the situation of uh, Rohingyas in Bangladesh? 사실 이제 2017년에 그 UNHCR 최고 최고 대표 그란드 대표가 이제 So back in 2017, um, my visit to Bangladesh to meet the Rohingya refugees was planned because um, High Commissioner, our High Commissioner Philippo Grandi, um, during his visit in Korea, um, expressed a, a deep concern for the crisis, um, which needed a deep attention from Asia as well as globally. So he asked me, as a goodwill ambassador, to help spreading the urgent request of the Rohingya refugees, and that's why I visited. And then, because it was um, immediately after the mass influx. Uh, my impression was about the Rohingya refugee camps was uh, in a state of chaos. Um, although there was uh, great support from the Bangladesh government as well as the local um, community, I could see that um, a support, a strategic support was necessary. This visit, although I still see a lack of political solutions for the Rohingya refugees, I could see uh, a great development in terms of livelihood. And for this, again, I am grateful to the government and the local community of the Bangladesh people and I expect express my deep um, respect. After your last visit, Kutipalang Rohingya camp has developed as a whole city and uh, the work of international community uh, has been amazing and uh, I would like to know you have visited in uh, the Rohingya camps in 2017 and you have met with the Rohingya, two of the Rohingya families in particular. So um, have you met with them this time and uh, if yes, uh, what are the uh, changes you have seen in them in between 2017 and now? Yes, I Yes, luckily I could reunite with um, the two families I met in 2017, supported by UNHCR to identify them. So in 2017 I met the families at the transit center and spoke to them um, and asked them why they had to flee. Because they were still in a state of trauma, um, they were not easily opening up to me when I first met them. This time the two families uh, met me very willingly and to share the story, one family, the um, elderly mother spoke spoke quite freely and expressed satisfaction and gratitude about um, the life and the living conditions in the camps. The other family um, was unfortunately separated from the husband and the father of the household but was reunited. Um, but the husband had a, a back injury in Myanmar and for these reasons could not support the family. So it meant the wife um, had more responsibility to support the family which was very sad to hear. 
라는 어떤 또 안타까운 사연도 함께 전해드릴 수 있게 돼서 굉장히 좀 마음이 무거웠어요. Um, as a goodwill ambassador, how are you contributing uh, to the Rohingya refugees for the well-being of Rohingya people and uh, other refugees in the world? So um, my journey with UNHCR began in 2014 um, when the number of persons of concern globally was 45 million. Um, now in 2019 the number of the persons of concern have increased deeply to almost 70 million. Um, as um, the conflicts continue globally in all kinds of parts of the world, um, but at the same time in other parts of the world, there are people who do not even get to know about them. There is a need for everyone to know um, about these problems globally. So my role is to share the stories to the people in Korea and ar around Asia about the plight of refugees, which I believe may lead to a solution for them. I would like to add that uh, you are aware that a joint response plan launched in uh, February uh, 2019 in Geneva has estimated 920 million US dollar funds to meet humanitarian needs of Rohingya people and vulnerable Bangladeshi host communities in 2019. As of mid-May, we know only 18% of the required fund is managed, showing a big deficit. In your opinion, how can celebrities contribute to the benefits of the refugees? 사실 이제 유엔 난민 기구에서 어떤 특정 지역에 Yes, so um, UNHCR and other partner agencies have their specific needs to support a situation. I have never seen uh, a situation, an, an emergency situation that was, that was fully funded. For me, as a goodwill ambassador for UNHCR, it is my role to ask individuals and the people to um, continue raising funds and um, give funds for the refugees. And celebrities like me could also personally make donations, but I think it is important that we do not force people to donate or support refugees but continue to persuade them that refugees are ordinary people like you and me which will naturally lead to increased funding for refugees particularly for situations like those of Rohingya refugees which led to a mass influx um, this it's it's very important to continue the support for them and this brings me back to Bangladesh for my second time I'm going to ask my last question that is uh, I, I'm sure you have a very large group of fans in Bangladesh so would you like to say something for them do you have any update on your upcoming movies I was very happy to hear that um, there are many fans in Bangladesh and um, I was actually honored to know of it. I am happy for this opportunity to meet the fans through this interview. Um, I am not sure through which movies or films um, the fans got to know of my work but will continue my career as an actor and I think I have my obligation um, to continue pleasing the fans. My new release um, is expected sometime around September and I also have uh, many other films lined up. I hope you get to see them and you are not disappointed. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts on Rohingya crisis which the whole world is struggling to find a sustainable solution. I would like to thank you for all the uh, great movies you have given for the audience and uh, I'm a big fan of yours. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you for watching and uh, we will get back to you with our new guest in the next episode and uh, till then stay connected with United News of Bangladesh.